The report released today examines the CIA's secret overseas detention of at least 119 individuals and the use of coercive interrogation techniques, in some cases amounting to torture. This clearly is a period of turmoil and instability in many parts of the world. Joining me on this, Marissa Semkew and Anthony Fury. We talked about it yesterday prior to the report coming out. Anthony, um, was it surprising to you in any way? Uh, no, not at all. I expected that the report would show that there were some somewhat heinous things, not at all as heinous as what our enemies do and what various uh, countries not in the West do when they detain suspects, but still it falls below the standard of what, when you, what you would expect of the good guys. We're supposed to be above all that and we've done some things that seem below the board by we, I mean the West, obviously Canada not complicit in this. So certainly not, not good things that have been revealed in this. Marissa, initial thought? It doesn't come as much of a surprise. I mean, a number of the revelations weren't all too surprising that people were waterboarded. That wasn't much, much of a surprise. There were a couple of flaws with re the report. And it, in fact, some of the major arguments in the report have been debunked already by three former CIA directors and three former deputy directors of the CIA. One of the major uh, thesis uh, basically claims by the report is that the interrogation techniques that were employed by, by these CIA operatives were ineffective in gleaning certain information from a number of the, those detainees, which they claim is flat out wrong. In fact, it's empirically obvious that a number of the interrogation techniques did in fact lead to in highly important information that was then used to capture Al-Qaeda operatives, among others. All right, now, do you think... Uh Anthony, based on what Marissa just said, that it debunks some of the report, or we have a he said, he said kind of situation? Yeah, I think it's a bit more of the he said, and there are obviously cases where we know interrogation techniques have gotten us things. There's times when there have been the enhanced techniques, and they've gotten nothing, and there are times when they just brought a guy a couple cupcakes, and then they told him everything that they want to hear. So what they know is different strokes for different folks when it comes to getting information out of them. So you don't necessarily want to run guns a-blazing in with the more enhanced techniques but I you know I, I, as I preference my comments about this the most enhanced techniques are really not that enhanced compared to what Saddam Hussein was getting up to, I think for we need to be clear, though, and not to, not to overly simplify what was going on in terms of the enhanced interrogation techniques. Part of waterboarding, for instance, that's one of the more prominent, uh, more contentious issues that people like to debate about. Waterboarding wasn't just, let's waterboard this terrorist or this detainee in order to glean information from that individual. It's in order to break them down, to get them to the point where they're actually uh, giving certain information in, um, to the CIA interrogators. And we also have to remember all of this is in the context of a post 9-11 world. They were operating in a post 9-11 world where it was perceived that there was a sort of ticking time bomb situation. And so while some people will say, okay, perhaps the so-called psychological manipulation might be more effective in gather gathering information from these detainees, they were working under a time sensitive situation where they thought an attack was imminent and they didn't have the luxury of time, which is why they employed these harsh interrogation techniques. Well, yeah, and to your point, eight days after an attack, legislators say, government, save us from ourselves. Let's give government all the power to go out and do something, which, and then the one thing that the CIA has not attempted to debunk, but has agreed with, is that they were unprepared to do this. They didn't have the logistical know-how, the manpower, they didn't have the infrastructure to go about doing what they did, but they did it anyway. Well, let me read to you what uh, CIA Director John Brennan said on this. We were carrying out an unprecedented worldwide program of detaining and interrogating suspected Al-Qaeda and affiliated terrorists they'd never done this before which is very interesting to acknowledge hey we didn't have the know-how to do this I mean that's if anything a good takeaway that we're not really used to torturing people and this is something we got to learn we don't have a torture department yeah and we got to find best practices in the world of torture out there clearly this was something that uh, really surprised the CIA I think and this came and there is a bit of hypocrisy in the Senate doing this whole committee hearing and directing it at the other whereas we know government itself the people who said oh my god what can we do to prevent this who believe that government can solve all the problems in the world they're the one who created this beast to begin with all the senators and, and congressmen I think the biggest problem 
problem with this report coming out and that the Obama administration has even conceded to this fact is that it has now put Americans and American embassies in danger. American embassies have now been on high alert in response to the ultimate release of this report, which has now since been released. Moreover, this is a report that was done in a purely partisan and political way. It was done by the Democrats in the Senate Intelligence Committee without the help of Republicans. I, I don't in the accept Senate either of those. No, I don't accept either of those. The second, because you're saying you're surprised that a committee of politicians has released a, no, poli a political not, report. All they ever do are political reports. So let's be very that, honest. The Democrats about, had the majority in that committee. It's obviously going to be political. Anthony, but let's backed. be very honest about the motivation of this report. That is very important in this discussion. The motivation for why this was released. It, and that is important, and I think that anybody looking at this has to realize that and the fact, Anthony, does this bother you, if you believe it? CIA Director John Brennan says that, in fact, the committee spoke to no CIA agents. Yeah, of course How do you it, do a complete report that way? Of course it bothers me, but find me a report compiled by a political body, politicians, that actually satisfies all the criteria we want. Of course I'd rather they did a better, more comprehensive report, but you guys are also saying don't release the report because there's too much information no, in it. So what if we got even more incriminating information that came out when CIA officers had been investigated? Would you say don't release this now? We always need to err on the side of getting more information out to the folks, and the fact that there are people out there in the world who can't handle their information and go crazy, They'll, they'll go crazy anytime Salman Rushdie writes a book. They don't need a report to go crazy. They'll kill each other and everyone they can find over any smidgen of information. Just, so that's why I don't, don't buy that first point Don't you see how highly irresponsible either. this report is? Even the Obama administration recognizing that it will put Americans at risk? It's fine to go that's ahead. That's a self-fulfilling prophecy. They've been saying it, saying it as if they want it, it to happen. It is fine to go ahead and do a report, but why make it public? Clearly, Democrats want to malign Republicans. They just lost both, both houses of Congress. They want to ma malign Republicans ahead of Republicans coming in and seizing control of Congress in January. That is clear. It is clearly a politically well, motivated the report. Well, report had been compiled long before that. why it's publish it? politically motivated because they're always being politically yeah. motivated. And it's why publish it? They want to get it out there. All right. So you and I, could, would you be satisfied knowing that there's information on the NSA out there that, no, I'm sorry, you can't handle it. You can't have it All released. Right. We're just mere peons. We're too dumb to read that. I don't trust the government to lord away these reports about what they're doing with the powers that we grant them. All right. Out of time. Thanks to both of you. David.